This is our big motor. Mott Energy Permanent Magnet Motor. 10 horsepower DC. It's supposed to have 72 RPMs per volt of input. 10 horsepower continuous duty at 48 volts. And it weighs 35 pounds. Back to working on El Dingo here. Figuring out where to get the motor mounted up. And placement of the batteries. Trying to leave some space between them for airflow. It's coming out pretty nice. Gotta get our sprocket lined up here and we'll get all our keyways in and get all these tightened down. And we still gotta get our bracket mounted down. Now we're working on getting our chain for our electric motor set up here. We've got our gold marker. About the closest one right there. I'm not gonna make sure we can't miss it. I got a handy dandy chain breaker. Got our piece off. Got our master link here. Second piece, and then our outer lock here. There we go. Now we'll adjust the engine. Well, we've got our motor mounted up. We've got our chain mounted up. A little bit of slack in it. Everything's lined up nice. We just have to put our keyways in there. Yeah, pretty much got the battery configuration laid out. And also, I think we're gonna set up our speed controller. I mine it right up on the battery box lid. That way, all the cables will be nice and short. And we'll just run a cable from the speed controller up to our gas pedal. Working on the setup for the battery box for El Dingo. I think this is about how we're going to set them up. We have two of them next to each other and then the front one dropped down a bit. That way we can set our motor controller up right in this area. I draw out the diagram so pretty much like this. We'll have the two batteries in the back and then the front one drop down. The battery box is basically just a tray 
and it'll go under the rear two batteries, drop down three inches, go under the front battery, come up three inches, and have a three quarter inch to one inch lip in the front. And here's the front view of our battery box, or tray I guess you would say. And the, the drop down section of the battery box needs to be a little bit narrower to fit down between the frame and the motor mount bracket. And we have a cardboard, or a piece of cardboard here. We're going to lay out our mock-up. We've got our one inch in the front, three inches for the front wall, five and a quarter inches for the where the lower battery will sit, three inch back wall, and then the rest of the tray here under our hook. Well, here's our cardboard mock-up of our battery tray. We have our one inch lip here. We have our three inch front wall. Five and a quarter bottom. Three inch back wall. And then we have our rear tray. It is about five eighths inches wider on both sides to sit on the frame. All pretty much along from our design. Next we'll uh, see how the cardboard mock-up fits in the frame. I'm back out here at the cart. We have our mock-up of our battery box. Seems to be fitting in here pretty well. Put the one inch lip in the front. Got the overhang on the bar here. Maybe a little too much here. We're gonna to have to take about a quarter inch off it looks like. Other than that, a little bit right here and we're looking good. Well, here's our cardboard mock-up of our battery tray. We've got some 16 gauge steel. Put some tape around it to hold its structure for measuring and stuff in the cart. But now we'll cut the tape off, lay it out on the steel, mark it out, and cut it out, and bend it up. Well, here's our battery box drawn out on our sheet metal. This will be the upper floor. It's wider on each side to right on the frame and the motor support. Got the gold lines to show the bend marks. We have steel cut up here. Now well, we pretty much got our steel all cut up. Our dimensions pretty much matches our template. Let's get her bent up. Well, we've bent our first piece here. Let's just double check to make sure we're all nice and square. That looks good. We'll flip it over and bend it up and bend our other piece. We've got our steel in the bender here. We've got it all marked up to make our second bend. We've got the first bend for the lip. It sits on the frame. We've got the, we're working on the second bend that will establish the front wall of our lower battery box. A little bit past. We can always straighten it back up. We've got our battery tray all set up to make the third bend. Clamps was in the way of the bend, so we had to straighten them up a little bit and move them out of the way. Pretty good. Well, we've got our battery tray set up in the bender for the fourth and final bend. Our 
our battery tray. There's our upper floor, our rear wall, our lower floor, front wall, and our one inch lip. One battery tray. Go try it on the cart. Now we got our battery box all together and in the cart. Fits nicely. In our next video, we'll uh, get the motor, the batteries, and the controller all together.